going to do? We're going to say string SQL equals, and we're going to say insert into users, and then we're going to say division, uh, username, password, and imp id. And then we're going to say values. And now we're going to do this, this, and plus plus. And a comma here. Right. So here we're going to say add four. So the division is add four. That's the department. And then the next one we're going to copy this with the comma. And we're going to paste it here. To so and you're gonna remove the comma from the last one. Don't forget that. So here the second one it's gonna be add to. So add to is username. So the username will be the first name of that employee. Will be the username. And the password is gonna be result. So the pass so so the username is gonna be the first name, and the password is gonna be the date of birth, without the slashes. So, yeah, and then the last one is going to be add one, which is the ID. So it's going to get the employee ID from here, and it's going to check in our users. So now we're going to say we're going to say PST equal con dot prepare statement, obviously SQL, and then we're going to say PST dot execute. And then what we're going to do, we're going to dis display a message showing us the username and the password that it created to that employee. So we're going to say, you know, J option, pane dot show message dialog. Now we're going to say null. And here, where the beauty begins. So we're going to say, we're going to say, user account has been created. successfully and then we're gonna say this and now here you're gonna do plus and we're gonna say username don't forget the spaces and then plus add to so we're going to get the username, which is add to, here. And then we're going to say this. And then we're going to say password. And then we're going to say plus result. And that's it. That should work. So let's try that out so everything makes sense now. So we're going to save that and you're going to right click and you're going to run. So we're going to add a, a new user now. And because we don't have copper here, he doesn't have a user. So it's going to create copper user and the new user that I'm going to add. So uh, we're going to say the first name, let's say uh, Don, and uh, let's say John, let's say male, date of birth, let's say um, 12. 12 1966 for example let's say don at gmail.com say the contact is 07 whatever here 26 whatever and the address is 1234563 and then we're going to say here let's say 555 whatever and now here apartment let's say four and let's say the postcode N E seven seven eight F D whatever. Apartment let's say sales sales and date hired whatever it's the twelve twelve nineteen seventy seven whatever. Basic salary let's say twelve thousand and job title let's say uh, sales uh, Executive, whatever, and the status is active. 
Right, so now when I click on add record, it's going to add the record here and it's then it's going to check and see if the employee ID of our new person here, Don John, is available. If it's not available, it's going to create a username and a password and also it's going to check all the records here. We only have one record and it's going to create a user for that person too. So let's try that and see. Add record. Yes. Okay. And nothing happened. So I think there's an error in the code so I'm going to try and fix it. So two seconds. Um, I'm going to like exit here. Uh, okay so here you're going to say ID only, right? I'm going to save that. So you're going to right click and run again. And then we're going to say Don, John, Mail. I'm not going to fill everything here because the video is too long already. So I'm going to just say 12, 12, 19, 66, whatever. So it's going to create a username and password. So add record. Yes. Yes. And there you go. So checked and user account created successfully for Kappa here and this is the password for Kappa. If I click OK it created again for Dawn and this is the password and again because I have two records of Dawn remember which because I added the previous one and now there is another one. So if you go here and refresh I have two Dawn Johns and if I go to the users I've got Kappa and these two and there is the IDs of the employee <clears throat> and that's how you add automatically add the username and a password so uh, you have to figure out yourself how to remove the duplicates and thank you for watching this tutorial uh, don't forget to like subscribe and stay tuned uh, for more um, thank you